Uganda produces 850 megawatts of electricity, and yet according to Uganda Electricity Generation Company Limited, the country needs just 500 megawatts. This makes the available electricity enough for the country's needs. Currently, from the projections from Uganda Electricity Transmission Company, the demand is 500 megawatts and the current installed capacity is 850 megawatts. So for the moment, we have enough power to supply even at peak demand. This, as the body advocates for the reduction in electricity tariffs in the country as one way of boosting investment. Unfortunately, this week Uganda's Electricity Regulatory Authority increased the electricity tariffs for the third time in the last 12 months. Households that use more than 15 units of electricity each month now pay 531 shillings, up from 518.7 shillings for each unit. The commercial consumers, such as millers and welders, will pay 485.1 shillings for electricity used between 5 a.m. to 6 p.m. and 600.2 shillings, 6 p.m. to 11 p.m., up from 472.5 shillings per unit. Large industrial consumers will pay 316.4 shillings between 5 a.m. to 6 p.m., 383.5 shillings from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m., and 233 shillings for each unit used between 11 p.m. to 5 a.m., up from 308.5 shillings. And the local governments and municipalities will pay 502.5 shillings for each unit used for street lighting up from 486.9 shillings. Dr. Stephen Robert Isabalija, the board chairman UEGCL, condemns this, saying electricity tariffs must be reduced if Uganda is to grow and for there to be increased investment. The independent power providers sell it at 11.52 Sense, must put the tariffs down. And as EGCL, this is something that we are going to take on. We think power tariffs must go down. Clearly articulated the importance of reducing the cost of electricity in this country from where it is now to something which will enhance production and productivity particularly in the industrial sector. The increment of the tariffs has been blamed on the increments to the exchange rates, international prices of fuel, core consumer price index, and the United States producer price index. But to Dr. Ishabalija, increments are not a solution, and he calls for the exploration of other energy options like solar energy. For a very long time, we have relied on hydropower, and that's good given. It's ours. The belief is we have more renewable energy. In Uganda, we have the best climate around. Unfortunately, we have not thought out of the box. This, as Uganda Electricity Generation Company Limited launches a three-year vision and strategic plan 2015 to 2017 with the aim to complete Karoma Hydropower project to produce 600 megawatts as part of efforts to increase electricity.